What's going on beautiful people? Welcome once again. Oh yes, I have an amazing adventure planned and I'm going camping and I'm going on an island. I'm not alone, I've got my homeboy Freddy Krueger. You know how we roll. He's got the drone ready to fly. So we'll take you on an amazing adventure because we're actually spending the night on this island. We have to say a big thank you to Marva. Say hello, Marva. Hi. Can you break it down for us? What do you have planned okay. for us? Okay, so you're going to have an awesome evening on the island, first of all. The bay is really shallow and lovely and a beautiful place for pictures and everything else for relaxing. Um, come 4.30 a.m., we take you across the bay. Well, that's too late. <laughs> but go again. To the peninsula for the most spectacular sunrise on the east coast and back for a Creole breakfast within the bay or on the island and that's what we have planned out for you and then after breakfast you paddle and kayak through the Seamouse Farms and along the bay on the sandbank on the Prada Bay. Awesome. Yes. All right, well we're excited. Who do we have as our captain today? This is Kendall. Kendall is going to be taking us across to the island on the vessel. It's a monster cruise ship of a boat so <laughs> I don't think we'll get wet. Mother is laughing. <laughs> Alright guys, so see you on the uh, on the boat. Alright. Huh? We're all crammed in this tiny boat. So this is the island behind me. Very quiet bay. Woo. I can see lots of uh, ah. red mangrove. <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> Mama, I think you need to sit next to him. So we change positions because She's a lot lighter than I am, but we're probably still gonna get wet. Oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> yeah, what's there to dislike? Over here on the right hand side, huge sea moss farm, lots of sea moss in there. As a matter of fact, um, the sea moss farm, we're gonna yeah. fly the drone. Yeah. So let's, yeah. let's show them that footage right now. <laughs> Just made it to the island. <laughs> now it's time to get off. <laughs> one foot in, one foot out. Yeah, respect my brother. That's how we do it. From the water onto the sand and immediately I can see that sand right here is a bit tough. It's not uncomfortable to the feet, but it's a bit tough. But over this way, come with me. Very soft sand. Uh, this feels awesome on the feet. So take a look at where I am right now. No one for miles. Got an entire island for, well, not myself, but ourselves. So game plan is we're probably going to explore, take a walk around the island, look for a place to set up camp, or we could set up camp right here on the beach. It doesn't even matter because this place is beautiful. Take a look at this. If you saw my video solo camping, the rain really messed with me. Holy crap! <laughs> yep, because the rain is definitely on its way. There's a cave right there. So you can see behind me, the sky is still setting up. As a matter of fact, it's starting to drizzle. Whoa, and it's raining heavy. <laughs> wow. This is insanity. All right, I'm back in the tent. It's raining heavily. The rain has subsided and I'm back outside. You can see to the back of me, the gray clouds. That storm is headed right towards me. Oh boy, it's just been rain, 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 rain. Ah, uh, yeah. This is it right here. Let's hope it doesn't happen again. 
let's go exploring let's see uh, what this island has to offer and we shall take it from there right off the bat there's a footpath so I have birds and Marva did say that there are whiptail lizards on here you got the leaf of life And this is the flower that they produce. Beautiful palm. When I'm on um, adventures like this, by the way, you might be wondering, where is my adventure hat? It's actually in my bag. I do have it. Lots of leaf of life. Oh my goodness. There's no shortage over here. So when I'm on adventures like this, I'm always looking at the foliage, Just made it to the side of the island. The view is spectacular, but guess what? There's rain on the horizon and definitely heading towards me. So I guess I'm gonna go seek some shelter. Holy moly. The uh, tent needs to be set up before this rain gets even more horrendous. So once again, we have the view and look at this. Oh, I've already spotted a little friend. So yeah, made it to the other side of the island. Lots of wind on this side. You have waves entering the bay. I could see the Seamoss farm a lot clearer and this thing spreads. Wow. Of course, the line in the shoreline, we have mangroves. I could see another beach on this side. And the area that I'm expecting to do the sunrise right over there sprinkling right now not as heavy as uh, my solo camping mission from a couple of episodes ago but just like last time I don't even care this is amazing before the rain gets even heavier let's head back to the beach set up camp set up the tent Florian current time <laughs> it's already five after six so it's gonna get dark anytime from now. So wanna get the tent set up. Definitely explore nighttime, cause you know, I was told there are gonna to be a few surprises. Never know, might even enter the water for a night swim. I was actually on my way back to the beach to set up my tent and I came across Trevor. So Trevor is just here to check on uh, Freddy Krueger and myself just to make sure we're okay. Trevor, what's going on, man? I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool. Yeah? Nice, nice. Yeah. I just came to check on you guys to see if everything's going okay. Wondering if you're having a blast. Tonight's gonna be a great night, a little windy, but you're gonna enjoy yourself. There's gonna be a lot of surprises and things to see. Who knows? You might see a wind. You never know. <laughs> Yeah, folks, so that's Trevor. Trevor says we're going to see some stuff here uh, during the night, so we're definitely exploring this evening. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so here's what I'm going to do now. To the back of me, right next to the stump, I'm going to be setting up a fire pit. Please, folks, anytime you're venturing outdoors, you're going to be setting up any sort of fire, please dig a pit. Basically, it means you dig a hole as deep as you want to line it up with some stones you can fill up the pit with all the uh, sticks and whatever you want to so at the end it's just a simple cover up everything is back to normal so yeah fire pit time Fire. 
All right, so we got dinner going. The man Freddy Krueger has the headlights, so you can see what he's doing. I don't want him to slice his finger off. What's for dinner, sir? It's just a salad, um, cucumber and tomatoes with um, shard of any mm -hmm. or culantro, mm -hmm. parsley, mm -hmm. oil, black pepper, lime juice, and a little bit of vinegar and salt to taste. Now that's what I call dinner style. Also, we have hot dogs. Okay, all right, all right. So that part is not for me. <laughs> Nobody else, nobody's interested in that. <laughs> We're not interested in no hot dogs. The salad, yeah. Ital is vital for our survival. Mangoes. Alright, we, now we're cooking again. Mandarin. Uh-huh. Uh, what else, sir? Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Ital is vital. So look at the size of the fire now. Fire is growing. And here is the fireman. And we have the original fireman. <laughs> <laughs> so alright, so while Freddy Krueger gets stuff going in the kitchen, I'm going to head into the water, swim around, just see whatever exists, what lives, what's going to come out to play. And when I come back, dinner better be ready or else only one person is heading back to the mainland. <laughs> getting getting out of this water right now this is why I'm just hanging out in the shallow Woo! the wind is kicking and it's nippy 
not much aquatic life. I was expecting to see a lot of stingrays, especially in this sandy bottom. The tide is definitely heading up. So it's not rough, but it's not easy for me to remain stable. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head out of the water, grab my towel, grab some dry clothes, and get warm. So I'll see you guys back at camp. Woo. Just got out of the water. So this is a segment where we're just gonna check out some of the uh, nightlife. Also, there's gonna be a lot of critters that's coming out to play, and I just spotted one, a huge centipede. I am just waiting for it to show its head so I can pounce. So this is me solo walking on the island, just looking for anything of interest. Leaf of life, there's so much of this stuff over here. I'm not certain, but this might be a bromeliad. And over here we have some growing on this tree. Lights of the mainland. We have a moon very cloudy couple of stars not sure if they're being picked up on camera but nope nothing all right let's head back to camp Last bit of recording before bed. I've got the moon over my left shoulder. I'm standing right here next to the coastline because I've made it around the island. Saw a hermit crab, saw a huge centipede. Didn't get it. Quick recap, jumped on a boat, came to this island with the plan. Camp, spend the night right here, wake up in the morning, check out the sunrise and whatever else. That was pretty much it, full stop, nothing else. Uh, we got a fire organized, I got into the water, got to walk around the island night time, now I'm about to walk the coastline. Once I'm done doing that, then I hop into the tent, get some Z's, wake up in the AM and head across to a peninsula where I'm going to be filming, documenting the sunrise. The kayaks are here, so we'll probably head across by kayak and probably spend some more time just kayaking around the bay because there's so much to see. There's a lot of stuff to see on this island. Just too bad we got here a little late so couldn't peruse as I wanted to. But you should get you should get the general idea. So let's just walk around the coastline, head to bed, wake up in the AM and see what it looks like. That's all I got. Alright. Not too sure if I should do the green light brighter or just go full on. Yeah, I don't know on the coastline right now you can probably tell from the heavy wind i'm nowhere near the city that is for sure and this actually goes a little further down but i'm not making my way there tonight all right guys so i'll be turning off the camera for now i'm gonna head into the tent catch some shut eye and i will catch you on the adventure to the peninsula to document the sunrise. See you in the AM. Bow, 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 bow. Good morning, folks. Back at it again. Time check. It's after four, five after four to be exact. And I'm just trekking through the island one more time. Looking to see if I spot any, anything interesting. I'm hoping to take the kayak across the bay to the viewpoint to catch the sunrise. But I just thought I would take one more look around to see what I could spot on this island. Lots of cacti. It's another thing I've come to realize I do not know anything about the species of cactus. This guy is taller than me. Whoa. Good morning! 
And what a glorious morning it is. The sun has come out to say good morning. I'm saying good morning to you. Woo! It's a beautiful morning. Look at this. I'm going to explore this area in a little bit, but first I'm going to take some time for meditation. So in the meantime, <laughs> check out the footage of my journey from the island to get here, because it's crazy. Uh, enjoy that footage. I'm going to take some time for meditation. When I get back, I'm going to show you what this area looks like, because there's some gorgeous bays, beautiful beaches, picturesque landscape. Uh, just enjoy the footage. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Alright, game plan. It's now 4.30. I'm way behind schedule. I'm gonna take the kayak, head across the bay, walk up to the peninsula, catch that sunrise. First time ever night kayak. Not too windy, but there is a heavy gust, and what you're saying is basically props used for the sea moss farm. Okay, we're going that way. There's a very shallow reef to my left, it's sheltering me from the rough water, which would be entering the bay. Wow, this kayak is very stable so, so far, far so, so good run. it's quite a trek to get across i honestly don't know how much time holy moly it's like a maze oh, man. hey balao or garfish whatever you are but this sea moss farm belongs to multiple farmers yep, let's go this way Hey, do not jump in the boat! We got Balawu in the boat! <laughs> Alright, we got some fish in the boat. Good use of recycling bottles. Is that another one? I think I just caught another Balawu. I think I just made it. The oil is definitely touching bottom. It's very shallow over here. And I made it across the bay to the beach. Just landed. All right, let's see how many we caught. One, two, three. You're too tiny. Get out of here, yo. The rest of you, you're coming home with me. Now that is a lot of trash. People, Please clean up after yourself. This is ridiculous. And I did not uh, come across with a garbage bag. Holy moly. This sucks. Let's put this over there. So much trash, yo. So much trash. I just cut this away. A little too far, but that's okay. A little too far never hurt anybody. Alright. I made it across. This mission has turned out to be so crazy. Got here late in the afternoon. Met with the coolest people. Took us across to this island. And... Did some exploring, both on land and at sea. <laughs> that was cool. Well, you'd think I know where I was going. 
Honestly, don't. Oh, what's going on over here? Are you going up? This is me. Just don't like the light in my eyes much and I need to see where I'm going so I'm going to keep you over this way. Currently I am walking uh, makeshift road I guess. It does look motorable. Mm, four wheel drive definitely. Typical car. Eh. That looks like a path. Is it? Nah. Nope. Ooh, what up, little you? What's going on? Pleased to meet you. Good morning. Any idea which way to the peninsula? Guess not. I can hear the roosters crowing in the background. Still pretty dark. Used to be a farm of some sort right here. You can see electrical box. Hey, if you're enjoying what you've seen so far, hit that like button down below, please. Kind of all the trash, man. Wow, I wasn't expecting this much of a trek. I mean, it does look far when you're standing on the island. When I say far, I don't mean like 10 miles. Welcome back, and I hope you enjoyed <laughs> that little kayak adventure, me getting to this peninsula and take a look at where I am right now. So I want to show you this beach right here. I mean, it's littered with sargassum seaweed, but the water is so calm and it looks so clear right now. No houses, no homes. There's another bay right around that corner. And then you go all around to this point. Unfortunately, we also have rain clouds right here. So this is all dark and gray. I don't know what it is with me and camping. Every time I go camping, there's always rain clouds. But this nonetheless is where I am at. All right. Also, you can take a look over this way, see what that looks like. Adventure hat is on, so you know what that means. I know you thought I forgot about my adventure hat, but I only had the other hat on because I needed to put the headlamp on. So now it's time to explore. Ooh. Standing here at the cliffside, just enjoying the sound of the water, the waves bashing. There's a little bit of a blowhole right here, but a little difficult to get to because all of this is loose rock and the blowhole is right around this area. Maybe we might get a little blast. I don't want to walk this way because this is all loose rock. This comes off very easily, see? <laughs> all of this comes off very easily, so I don't want to get too close for safety purposes, nor do I want to get down there. That's dangerous. Here's that camera capturing that time lapse. I should be in frame right now. Woohoo! One word spectacular. Woo! Alright, folks, so right now I'm going to make my way. Oh, there's the sun peeping. Right there. That big old flame in the sky. Alright folks, so right now I'm going to make my way back to the beach. Find the kayak, jump back on the kayak, make my way across the bay to the island. And uh, see where else this day takes me. I really hope you're enjoying because I'm enjoying. <laughs> It's so much fun to just be outdoors, in nature, just being free. I say it all the time, but this is the way to go, folks. This is definitely the way to go. 
All right, see you guys back at the beach. While exploring this area, I came across a plant with lots of health and nutritional benefits. It's called a noni. I'm at the beach right now about to jump on the kayak. This was a fun little place to visit and you know what sucks? Came back to an empty kayak. The balau is not here. I don't know, maybe a cat or crabs or rats or dogs or something picked it up but I'm sorry balau guys. Uh, had I known I would have just left you in the water. So yeah, gonna head across to the island and let's get on to some other wacky adventure through the sea moss farm. Of course, I have to be very careful. I don't want the farmers to think that I'm interfering with their crops and stuff. So just going for documenting purposes, grab my camera and just film. Let's head across the island and uh, let's see what this looks like during the daytime. Alright, so I need to figure out a way through this maze. Uh, probably head up. Maybe I should just go around, huh? Uh. Some sea moss farmers have already made their way into the water. I could see some of them over this way. You can see some of the sea moss in the water right there. What are these bottles? Energy drinks. I guess that's the drink of uh, champion sea moss fishermen farmers. So I'm being very careful not to take my oar too deep into the water that I might snap the lines. It's okay if I bump into a bottle or two. It's not very windy so far this morning, very cloudy. Here I am on the kayak moving uh, through the sea moss farm and there are a few farmers that have already come out to check their crops down this way. I'm headed over to the island over there. The wind is uh, moving me towards the farm so I need to get. In the meantime, check out the time-lapse footage.
farm, I honestly don't know if it can hear me, it's so windy right now. But while I make my way across to the Seamoss farm, I had a little bit of a Seamoss education earlier. Check out that footage and I'll see you back at the farm. We're standing right here at the Seamoss bed and we're going to get a little bit of Seamoss knowledge, Seamoss education right now. Alright, so what are we looking at? We're looking at some rejected Seamoss actually. Rejected Seamoss, that's when it's not cured properly and the farmers cannot sell it, people don't want to buy it this way, so we usually just leave it aside and the good ones we bag it and things. But the color we're looking for, as you can see, there's how many different shades. That's when it gets wet by rain and we're looking for the proper curage of this color, of this color. But when, as it's this way, we can call it rejected because farmers won't buy it with these marks on it. But we look, this one is actually a green one. Uh, it's actually green, but when it's properly cured, it turns blue. But that's a rejected, so you see it, it have the kind of shades of black and purple and different. That's how they qualify it as rejected. But if we have some, I just don't have any perfectly cured CMOS right now. But if I had, I will show it to you. So explain the process. What, what's this bed? What's, what are all these yes, lines? These are lines for hanging them, actually. These are the lines we do. What we do when we come from, see, with the CMOS, we just break them off so, and we put them on the line like that. Until the net is full of CMOS that way. Full, full of CMOS until there is isn't space to take any more. And we just let it dry out. Let it air out, when it's done, you beat it out, you come with your bag, you fill it up, and you just put it in. Alright, and what's this uh, bed right here? That, and when it's when it's done curing here, also if you don't have space, you can just put it on that, rest it on that, and it automatically seeps through the net, the water dries it out, it gets salt everything, and you can just beat it out, and just bag it. Fantastic. And there's different colors, there's different methods of curing them, there's for different purposes. How long is the process? Yeah, well the process between going is like you plant, well you plant your farm for at least four to six weeks. And between that amount of time you have this, you go, you have this, you break it off, but you don't break the whole thing off the line because you would have to replant the whole farm. So you leave a plant on the line, meaning you break a piece and you leave the rest of the plant and you have it. That's why we leave it for six weeks for it to get big enough for it to grow. And when we harvest, we come in short if we come here with it actually, we place them here to do the variety you want to do. And then when it's dry, I would say over a period of one day if you get good weather. If you get good weather, one day depends on which color you do it. The purple takes a little longer, like two to three days to really get its color. But the bleach and a good sunny day, you just need hot sun and your plain island bag. Bleach is out, flip it and you put it right on your dryer, which is net like this, and it just dries out. It just dries out to be a white seamoss. When it comes out of the water, it's typically purple? No, it's actually raw. It's a kind of dark red, dark, dark reddish color, dark brownish color. And when it starts to get the sun, it starts to sweat out. It changes color gradually. Awesome. Seamoss knowledge. Who knew? I never thought I was going to school today, but I'm always willing to learn.
I've been swimming for quite some time now and a lot of these poles are duds. So it looks like they're pretty much abandoned farms. What I'm gonna do now, head back to the island. If I take the kayak back across this way, then I'll jump in. Hopefully you can get a closer look. If not, it's all good. So let's take a swim back to the island. Now for the part where it gets really cold because of the wind. Back at the campsite. See you guys in a bit. So I'm back to chilling on the hammock. What a morning it's been. Sunrise, kayaking, swimming, and yeah. I got to see some whiptail lizards. These guys are so quick and I'm very happy I got some footage. I don't know how much footage. So I will be checking it out with you. I'm gonna roll that footage right now. Let's check it out. Woo! I'd just like to take the opportunity to remind everyone, please dispose of your trash, your garbage, your refuse responsibly. Do not leave anything lying on the ground in a place that you did not find it originally. If you could carry it with you, you could take it away. Coming to you live from the top of the galaxy. This episode has now come to an end. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below.
of course feel free to share with any and everybody because whiptail lizards night swim kayaking in the day and the night sunrise uh what else swimming with the sea moss that i never got to see <laughs> but don't tell anybody uh there was so much happening i really enjoyed it my homeboy Freddy Krueger is on the beach just breaking down and dismantling his tent. Uh, mine is already disassembled and we're getting ready to head back across the bay. So we're still deciding whether we're going to take the boat or do the kayak. Whatever, it doesn't even matter to me. As it starts to sprinkle, showers of blessings. I'd like to say, hey, if you enjoyed the video, you know you enjoyed the video. And you know you want to stay tuned to whatever it is I get up to next because half of the time I don't even know what I get up to next. Subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification and also follow me on Instagram. B-I-G-G-L-U-M like it says down below. So you follow me on Instagram. You'll probably see some behind the scenes. You'll probably see a live video. You'll probably know what's coming out in advance. But if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get to see the actual full-fledged in all this detailed video. This stuff is on so I can remember the moment that I was there at that time. And to short change any part of that video means I'm skipping some of the important stuff. Those whiptail lizards that I saw, I don't wanna skip that. I wanna hold on to those memories. So I'm going to leave it on there so I can review 10, 20, 30, 80 years from now and be like, yeah, I remember that. And for those of you who have never seen a whiptail lizard, you got to see one, right? So that's cool. Drone footage supplied by Freddy Krueger. I'll leave her, his Instagram in the description down below so you can follow him and see what he does because he flies all over the place. And yeah, as always, get control of your body, take time for your mind, love yourself first so you can love others. Until the next time. Puh! Puh! Oh, you're still here. Thanks for chilling with me. A heavy shower just thrashed through here not too long ago. Y'all hold the boat right, y'all, sure? Yes. All right, we're, we're